boys and girls, Miss Amy here. I miss you so much, and I'm really sorry that we've been out of school this long. So if you remember, last time we did um, alphabet cards. We did A, A, Apple, B, B, Bat, and I told you at the end of that video we were gonna do some counting. So I have a book to read. This is called 10 Little Caterpillars. Look at all these caterpillars. Boys and girls, do you know what a caterpillar turns into after it's done in its chrysalis? Let's see if we can find out in this book. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. So here's the caterpillar and he's crawling up the stem of the flowers. And this, these flowers are called wild roses. The second little caterpillar wiggled up a flower. Can you find the caterpillar? It's right here. And here's a snapdragon and foxglove and blanket flowers. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. So here's the cabbage, here's the caterpillar, here's a beetle, winter squash, and a toad. Ladybugs, here's watermelon and musket melon and honeydew melon. We've had watermelon and honeydew before for snacks at school. The fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. So here's the pool, here's the caterpillar, here's an oak leaf and a maple leaf and a poplar leaf. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. So here's the caterpillar and he's in a jar. And there's a spider. This is a milkweed plant. Here is a monarch chrysalis. And a chrysalis is another word for a cocoon. And here's the monarch eggs. So they start out as an egg, then it goes to a caterpillar, and then the caterpillar goes into a chrysalis. And then what happens next? Does anyone know what happens after the caterpillar is done in the chrysalis? I don't know, maybe we'll find out in this book. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren, and a wren is a type of bird. So here's the caterpillar. This is a thistle plant, and sometimes thistle grows in your backyard and it can be a little prickery. Here's a dragonfly, here's a grasshopper. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. Look, he's kind of like almost running away. Here's winter squash. Boys and girls, a hen is a female chicken. And can I tell you a secret? Miss Amy is so afraid of chickens. We go to a farm sometimes to get fruit and vegetables and play with the animals and they have chickens and Miss Amy runs away from the chicken. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. So here he is in the sea, and this is a big sea bass, or a type of fish. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. So here's the caterpillar. Look, he's even taking bites out of the leaf. Here's the apple tree branch, and there's some apples. And he hung there patiently. Look, here he is in his chrysalis. This is a cardinal. And boys and girls, this is a boy cardinal. Boy cardinals are nice and red. So if you ever see a red bird outside, it's a boy cardinal. Until by and by, the tenth little caterpillar. So here he is. Look, he's coming out of his chrysalis. What do you think it is? He became a butterfly. So you start with the egg, a caterpillar, a chrysalis, and a beautiful butterfly. Here's some flowers, and this is a butterfly bush. Now on these next couple pages, it shows what a caterpillar is, what it looks like, 
and then what the butterfly looks like. So here's a morning cloak, here's the caterpillar, and this is what it looks like when it turns into a butterfly. Here's a buckeye caterpillar, and this is what it looks like as a butterfly. Here's the cabbage looper caterpillar, and that turns into a moth. And a yellow bear caterpillar turns into a Virginian tiger moth. A yellow necked caterpillar turns into a moth. Monarch caterpillar turns into a butterfly. These are what a lot of the butterflies we see around our house and school look like, monarch butterflies. They're very, very popular. This is a painted lady caterpillar, and that's the butterfly it looks like. Here's a woolly bear, and that turns into an Isabella tiger moth. The next one is a common wood nymph, and that turns into a butterfly too. And the last one is a tiger swallowtail. Here's the caterpillar, and that's what it turns into. So boys and girls, we learned a couple new words. We learned cocoon and chrysalis. And a cocoon or chrysalis is a house for where the caterpillar sleeps and grows and turns into a beautiful butterfly. So go outside this week, see if you can find a caterpillar, see if you can find a chrysalis, see if you can find a butterfly. And when, we, when I come back and I see you next week for another book, We'll talk about that and see if you were able to find anything. All right, friends, have fun. Be good for mommies and daddies and grandmoms and grandpops and aunts and uncles. And I miss you and I'll hope to see you soon. Bye.